Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Nothing but hate. Nothing but war face. Look at this crew. So mean. So badass. So rude. So vulgar. So young. The M9 bayonet has a lot of magical qualities to it. Some of you are like, dude, what are you, what are you talking about right now? There's like nothing magical about the M9 bayonet. Like, Fuck yeah, there is. Ready? You see it? No, you don't. It just disappeared right in front of you. Ta-da! Hi, everybody. Vermont Survival is here. <laughs> just, like, went right for it. See that? this video black powder and shit hits the fan oh. is it practical you hear that a lot you know the AR guys and AK guys they always talk about how practical their uh, ARs are they're just so practical they are well, you know, back in the day, the practical method was <laughs> black powder. And a lot of you guys would be like, well, they didn't have AR-15. <laughs> you know, you technical motherfuckers out there. You know, you know who you are because you're all over the internet. Point out every little detail. Oh yeah. Speaking of details, why don't we detail a safety check. Yeah, BJ. I haven't forgotten about you, bro. Look at that. We're gonna we're gonna safety check it. Now before you guys go, that was unsafe, which you just did. Uh, it was perfectly safe. Okay. The gun's on half cock, and I got the it's perfectly safe, bro. Safe is relative. Remember that. So, why don't we get on to the, 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 with the video. Is black powder practical in a shit hits the fan scenario? <laughs> Does a bear use rabbits to wipe his ass? Yes. Yes, it's practical. God damn it. Of course it's practical. Why wouldn't it be practical? Um, let's just face it, people. Black powder will never leave the game. You know what I mean? It's just one of those weapons platforms that will always be there. It's like herpes. Only funner. Now, why do you say, well, come on, give me the talking points. Okay, well, here we go. One, first and foremost, black powder is versatile as fuck. Oh, by the way, if you don't like swearing, I am in a cussing mood. So plug your ears up. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't even want you on this channel. Get, get the fuck out, okay? If you, if you're talking about shit hits the fan, and if you're talking about, you know, some really, really gruesome, heavy shit, and you can't put up with swearing, <laughs> what makes you think you're going to survive the end of the world? So leave, please. I ain't got time for you. But if you're still here, then you know what's up. 
one part of surviving right there. So anyways, when we get on with it, first off, the versatility of black powder is amazing. Okay. Especially when you start getting into the 18, the 1820s, 1860s, you know, that in that era. Oh my God, dude. Like every single one of their platforms you can use as a makeshift shotgun. Actually, I even think there's most, most of the rev, uh, the, uh, French and Indian War shit, you can actually, I think all of it, you can use as a makeshift shotgun besides the, besides the, uh, Pennsylvania long rifle or the Kentucky long rifle, whatever one you want to call it, it's both the same. But yeah, <laughs> but everything else, <clears throat> dude, it's a makeshift shotgun too. Um, but the, but the, but the Civil War shit, that's, that's what I'm focusing on. So, I mean, the Rev War shit is, is, is mostly just smooth bore. But right when we start getting into rifled muskets, this is when it gets interesting. So this is the shit I'm talking to, talking about. You get a rifle and a shotgun all in one. That's the best part. So you can shoot mini balls and you can shoot butt shots, son. <sighs> 50 cent ain't got nothing on that. The versatility, man. <laughs> Black powder you can make in your kitchen. Come on. <laughs> Takes a little time. You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure for most of us that deal with black powder, we know people that know people that know people that has aunts, uncles, roommates, cousins, brother that makes the shit that we know. So we can definitely do it. Um, well, what do you mean? We got to get flints. Got to get flints. Well, flint locks me turn into match locks. <laughs> so you get two guns and a one, son. Pretty badass right there. In my opinion, anyways. Because I'm a black powder enthusiast. Percussion caps. Now, I don't know what the... I, I saw this on YouTube um, a while ago. And somebody was like, Well, you have to get percussion caps. And da -da 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 -da. Like, making percussion caps was just a big deal. Getting percussion caps for black powder isn't a big deal. And that's another beautiful thing about it. Nobody's buying this shit. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about black powder. And, and that's the best part. Nobody cares. They're talking about how practical the 9mm, 5.56, and AKs are. And they can't find fucking ammo for this shit. <laughs> it's just how practical it is. You know, black powder. <laughs> I'm still buying black powder shit and what? You know what I mean? I love it. You can mold your own rounds. This is the best part right here. You know what I mean? You fucking bust a cap in the deer, right? And then after that, you go get your meat and then you dig out your round and reuse it. <laughs> That's the best part. Black powder is good like that, man. It's 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 also good like when you actually when you go out target shooting, you can just dig out your rounds and reuse. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just throw them in the molten pot. That's it, done. <laughs> it's a renewable resource, and that's what I like about it. That's what I love about black powder. Another good thing about black powder. ATF don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> they don't care. You know what I mean? You could have a 16 revolving black powder Gatling gun and they wouldn't give a shit. They'd just be like, ah, oh, fuck it. They, they're not coming for him. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not going to come for him at all. They're just going to look at you and just laugh. But like everybody else that has ARs and AKs, they just look at you and just be like, what's that going to do? I'll tell you what I can do. It's a 50 cal. Those things are beast. Okay. Um, I am going to be putting a penetration video up on what a 50, a 58 caliber musket can do. 
Ugh, it's brutal. Oh my God, dude. Oh, Jesus. It's nasty shit, bro. Let's see if I get here. I look like grayish, you know? But right here, you see the color in my eyes. <laughs> All right, so, oh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, ATF. You have nothing to worry about the ATF. That, 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 that's, the, that's, that's, that's the awesome thing when I get that out. Oh. Fucking stuttering guy here. Um, what else? What, what, el what else is there? Dude, you can have... <laughs> I don't know why anybody would do it, but you can take a black powder shotgun and you can cut that shit like, to whatever size you want. There's like no... Well, it has to be this length, or you need this, you know, none of that shit, dude. Dude, you can cut it right down. That's another good thing, you know what I mean? This is no rules, you know what I mean? You, you're, you're actually free. Free. Yeah. Mosquitoes are like free meal, motherfucker. Yeah, damn. Um, what else is there good about black powder? Most people don't like black powder because it's dirty. I mean, I don't know about you, but I like things a little bit dirty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you get what I'm saying here? I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of dirtiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Can't go clean all the time. Sometimes you just... You just gotta get dirty, real raunchy. That's why black powder people are so much better than the standard uptight, snobby, just center fire people. You know what I mean? We don't mind getting dirty. We're not bitches like that. Honestly, I honestly believe, and I'll, I'll be I'll be totally honest with you. If shit hits the fan, <laughs> black powder is gonna make a comeback. It really is. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can shoot black powder out of, you know, your AR and shit like that. You can do that, but let's just face it. For hunting, black powder is it. You know what I mean? You can save those other rounds for self defense. You can use black powder for hunting. Squirrel, pigeons, if you live in the city, dumpster chickens too, seagulls, you know I mean? in case you're living under a rock, don't know what a dumpster chicken is, of course some of you are like, I know that, this, this people uptight, seriously uptight man. They have no sense of humor on YouTube at all. They think everything's just zero sense of humor. Not the people that subscribe to me, of course. I mean, you gotta have a sense of humor to subscribe to me. Or you better. <laughs> I, I, I don't know anything else, but I do know that, you know, it's just common sense. Shit, it's the fan. You gotta have a black powder. You know what I mean? And anybody that sits there and tells me that you can't fight with a black powder, bullshit. It's already been proven that it can. And look, if you get a black powder in a capable motherfucker's hands, and you pull some, like, serious, like... Who's that Revolutionary War guy? It's Cap... Uh, something Morgan, whatever his name is. Dude, he stomped the dog shit out of uh, out of uh, out of the British in the Revolutionary War. <sighs> I mean, it just goes to show you, man. If you get a group of people with black powder and they know what they're doing, you, you can do some damage. And nobody wants to get hit with a black powder. I don't care. Well, nobody wants to get hit with anything, anyways. But a black powder. <clears throat> 
dude, that's some stopping power. That's some serious stopping powder. I, I hit, I hit a, uh, a post at a hundred, 130 yards on my last channel. You heard it. You heard it. I was 130 yards. You heard it on the video. I kid you not. You heard a thud. It looked, sounded like somebody took a baseball bat and hit the post. It was nuts. It was impressive. Very impressive. Yeah, I think I think it's stupid not to have a black powder in a shit hits the fan scenario. I, I seriously think, you know, if somebody was if one was smart and took their survival seriously, you would definitely have a black powder in your arsenal. A couple of them. Why 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 fuck around? You know what I mean? Um It's just one of those options, you know what I mean? One of those awesome options, and uh, and it keeps you and it keeps you keeps you going bang bang. So that's it. That's my video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to Wood's channel. Wood, where the hell are you? What the hell? Uh, upcoming things. I do have a penetration video coming out real quick, and I also have uh, a couple more. Um, um, videos uh, uh, coming out. Uh, I have the Sea Service pistol. I have that coming out. Um, I also have ooh, what else? 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 The Renegade, the Thompson Center Arms Renegade. I have that coming out, um, and all that for for black powder shooting. Um, I am going to somebody put down in the comments. By the way. And, and another oh, off subject, um, the people who wrote on the uh, para anger, um, having my back on, on that video, uh, I can't thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate the love I got from that. That was awesome. All of you, thank you. And I'll put the comments at the end of this video so you guys can see it. it was, it's pretty awesome. Um, I do thank you all for your, uh, for your support. And, uh, yeah. So I'm thinking about doing a little adventure. I'm not sure if, if, if I should do it. I'm thinking about uh, selling muskets myself. Um, and of course all my subscribers, you definitely get a discount. Of course. Uh, so there we go. I'm thinking about doing it. Now survival gear, black powder, black powder all the way. Um, not black powder, but muskets. Bang, bang. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool thing to do. Um, I'm still in the works. I'm still thinking about it. I'm, you know, seeing if I, seeing if this is a good option for me or not, because it's, it's just another added stress. You know what I mean? I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, the old man thinks it'll be pretty cool. So, if you guys think it'll be pretty cool, put your comment down below. Uh, but there we go. That's my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, Wood, where the fuck are you, bro? Um, subscribe to his channel. If you are already subscribed, you know I give a fuck about you. You're the shit. Because um, I see the flies flying around you. That's an actual song, by the way, in case you guys were like, oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> Where'd you get that? No, 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 motherfucker, that's an actual song. Um, even though I'm not too much into rap, rap nowadays sucks. I like the old school gangster rap. They're talking about busting a cap in your ass. That shit was badass. Remember Ice Cube, Dr. Dre? Yeah, Grave Diggers, Wu Tang Clan. That's it right there. So anyways, yeah. If you have not subscribed, how dare you? Subscribe. Join the crew of misfits. It only hurts the very first time.
then after a while you begin to like it. So that's my video, guys. Thanks a lot. Vermont Survivalist, as always, <laughs> good to go.